Hey y'all, it is Julian. Today's gonna be a what's old video and it's gonna start right now. All right guys, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Julian. Also, my wife's name is Kayla. We sell stuff on eBay full time. We're gonna go over some what's olds. Most of them are over $100. There's some over $200. These are not in any type of order. These have been probably in the last month or two. Uh, we've been doing pretty good and we would like to share this information with you all so you can pick this stuff up and then flip it on eBay for profit. So let's go ahead and remember the old school. If, you're, if you watch the other channel, this is how I used to do it. And we're just gonna post little like what sold, you know, the, the comp or you know what it actually sold for like right in this region. And uh, so hopefully you all can find this stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is a vintage black diamond miner rubber rain hat it was a size large went for 150 dollars international uh that so they paid the shipping i go through the global shipping program on ebay but i did just send my first uh like pirate ship international it was pretty easy i have to say so i might switch to that i don't really know yet if it's anything under a pound so we'll we'll keep you posted on that but this one right here did go global shipping program and i only got that for three dollars at a yard sale it did take a long time to sell uh, because i was asking so much money for it but it did sell the next one right here i picked up for twenty dollars i knew it was worth money the guy knew it was worth money it only took about a month to sell which really isn't bad for a 120 dollars tool this is a simpson 260 series 8 overload protection multimeter when you're out there and you see multimeters, just make sure you go ahead and comp them out. Look them up on eBay because some of them are way more expensive than $120. So $120 plus shipping on that one and again, maybe a month to sell. Jugs automatic toss machine charger not included. Pick this one up. This one might be one of the bigger uh, Goodwill finds we've had in a really long time. This one got picked up at a Goodwill for only like $250. Uh, it was sitting up front. I don't think people knew what it was, to be quite honest with you. I looked up the name and the model number, picked it up immediately because I was like, dude, this thing's over like $100. And it sold uh, 100 plus shipping. I think they were like 175 all in. It has a charger that you plug into it. Luckily, I had the same charger, but I did charge the this machine. It did work perfectly fine. I just wasn't going to sell the charger with it because it was my charger. Sold anyway, $100, no problem there. Kind of a pain to ship because it's a very large object. All my shipping, if it's oversized, I've been sending it UPS now and I've been using Pirate Ship to actually buy the labels. And so far, it's been working out pretty good. This one right here, if you remember, I was at a church yard sale and we bought a ton of electronics equipment. I couldn't really test them. And I kind of put that, you know, that it was not tested. And, uh, but it did work because the person told me it worked. We only had one return out of probably $2,000 worth of sales. This one right here was one of those sales, a DBX 1231 graphic EQ church owned. It says Reeks, then I explain. That's what I do also. If I wanna explain something more in the title, I put read and just hope that they read the description. This one sold for $110 plus shipping. Did These were flying off the shelves. These things only took like a week or less to sell and I only had like a couple bucks in them. Crocs Classic Disney Collection Clog Sandals went for $97 plus shipping. They were brand new. People have been telling me that Crocs have been super hot, especially the ones, I don't know the correct name, where they have the stuff on the Croc, like the little emblem. There's a word for that. I don't know what it is, but $97 plus shipping there. Take it all day long. All right, Vintage Frosty the Snowman Christmas Yard. This is a blow mold. Probably should have put blow mold in the actual uh, description there or the title but still went for $100 plus shipping. I usually try to pick these up for $10 or less. I did pick this one up for $7.50 at a yard sale. Now's the time to get these listed, get them listed for the Halloween ones really sell really well. The Christmas ones, we just sold a, a part of a nativity scene. So that's being shipped out. So if you have these lay, laying around, Kayla and I had to go into the storage unit and get, like, basically force each other to list these because they're kind of annoying to list, to be honest with you. And uh, the shipping isn't that, hard on them we use 12 by 12 by 48 boxes and cut them down but now if you have any get them listed still spirits air still and it says read because you have to explain you know what's actually included in this it was this was something that like boiled water it was kind of like hard i actually still don't quite understand what this thing did and but it's over 95 dollars plus shipping you really don't have to know what it does as long as you can kind of articulate in the description like what it's supposed to do or what what it's described to do on like when you look it up and uh, so that one did have a barcode i picked up for seven dollars and fifty cents 
at a uh, yard sale, it was a church yard sale, sold very quickly for $95. I actually think I undersold that. Microsoft Xbox One S model uh, that has two controllers, it says read. It did come with the actual game and it came with a mounting bracket to a wall. I picked this thing up for I think only 30 bucks or 40 bucks at a yard sale. Listed it, sold immediately. Like sold within 30 seconds. One of my fastest sales we've had in a really long time. The Vintage Green Carousel Bubblegum Machine. Uh, we did, somebody asked on the other channel. If you didn't know, we have another channel called The Bearded Thrift Machine. That's where you get to see everything we pick up. And this channel is basically like a follow up on when they sell. And uh, somebody asked if we were gonna break this thing down. Nope, we sent this thing. I bubble wrapped it, I styrofoamed it, I put all types of stuff in this box, I double boxed it, so I 100% believe it will get there safely. We picked it up for $10, sold $59.99 very quickly. Within two weeks, there are a whole bunch of red ones out there. The green one seems to sell a lot better, a lot faster, and for more money. So a little tip there when you're looking at these vintage gumball machines, $59.99 plus shipping, no problem. The Nikon L35AS, if you didn't know that 35 millimeter cameras, point and shoot cameras, kind of hard to test, to be honest with you. That's why I usually sell them for parts. I always pick them up though. If they're a dollar or two, I'm 100% always gonna pick them up because I usually sell them between 15 to 20 bucks in parts and they probably work. I just don't ever film test them because I don't know where to get all that 35 millimeter film. So, but this one sold almost immediately for parts. If it did work, this is a $135 camera. And uh, this sold, I'm talking very, very quickly for $65 plus shipping. So be on the lookout for that Nikon L35 AF and also be on the lookout for 35 millimeter point and shoot cameras. They're worth a ton of money. The Chippewa Men's Brown Leather Western Ranch Work Boots. I remember when I picked these up, we were at the 127, which we loved. Kayla and I went out there to the 127, and we just had a blast. I picked these up for $5 at a yard sale out there. They did take a while to sell. Uh, they had a high heel on them, and I think that's why, because you had to really want these type of boots. And they were in really good condition. Picked them up for five bucks, sold them for $100, and the shipping you can see right there is pretty high, like 18 bucks, because they weighed seven pounds. They were very heavy. Another point and shoot camera, Olympus is one of the best ones that you can actually uh, buy, the Olympus Stylus. If you see one of those, I, I usually will pick them up even for like 15 to 20 bucks just because they usually work and they sell very, very quickly. This one had the box. I think I picked this one up at a Goodwill in North Carolina. So for $106 plus shipping, they are always a buy for me if I can get them less than 20 bucks. The Sony W500 5 CD changer, CD recorder, didn't have the remote, went for $199. This thing was a beast. It was huge. It was just a gigantic unit. I did test it out. Luckily it worked. We obviously saw a lot of electronics. Testing them can be kind of annoying, uh, but we don't get, a lot of people ask if we get scammed a lot when it comes to electronics. We really don't. I honestly think sometimes they get jostled around in shipping, even though if I try to ship them correctly, they still get messed up and sometimes they just stop working. Uh, but this one luckily did not stop working, $199. That was also at that same yard sale, the church yard sale, we got everything for super cheap. I probably got five bucks into that. The 5.7 Hemi, engine cover picked this up for five dollars couldn't believe that he was actually gonna sell it for five bucks if you ever see engine covers to a desirable engine uh, especially boat engine covers they can go for a crazy amount of money this one sold within two weeks i'm kind of glad because it's taking up a lot of room because the thing is huge 99 dollars plus shipping 44 dollars on the shipping there there's a kind of a trend here as you see that a lot of our bigger items, like our over $100 items, are also larger items together. So don't be afraid to ship larger items, just make sure you have the correct box. The JVC JXW9 Special Effects Generator, again, out of that uh, church yard sale, we got everything for super, super cheap, probably five bucks into this. So for 115 plus shipping, very quickly. The four wall mounting brackets for the Bose 161 speakers. Little tip here. When you pick up Bose speakers, especially ones that are supposed to be on the wall, right? So they're gonna have a mounting bracket on the back. Make sure you either put that in the description that they had the genuine mounting bracket on the back of the Bose speaker, 
or you separate them to and sell the speakers separately and then the mounting brackets because I picked these up for like 20 bucks. Those four speakers with the mounting bracket. The speakers alone were worth $200. The mounting brackets were worth 85. These went overseas. I did split them just because the mounting brackets I know were gonna fly off the shelf. These things took about a day to sell. So, but just make sure when you pick up those Bose speakers that are supposed to be mounted on the wall, see if they have the actual Bose mounting brackets on the back. There's gonna be a part number in there and they can go for, again, 85 bucks for four mounting brackets. That's pretty good. So I asked the other day if I pick up a lot of cast iron. This is the only cast iron I now pick up. Griswold number nine, large logo, uh, has the heat ring. The heat ring is just that thing on the bottom that's a little bit bigger. It looks like a ring on the bottom of it. And uh, this thing, they sell really, really well, as you can tell, $115 plus shipping. Shipping's always expensive. I do not season them. I do not clean them. Uh, I don't do anything to them. I do it as is. The person could go ahead and do that. If you want to season them, they go for a lot more money and clean them. And I'll ha I don't know the proper way to clean cast iron. And uh, I don't want to mess them up. So 115 Back to life, continuous motion, therapeutic massager. I missed one of these at a yard sale the other day and I saw it on my video and I couldn't believe that I missed it. Always a fast sell at $90 plus shipping. Look at the shipping on that, $67. It is a massive box. It is like three foot by two foot. It's a big box, but I'm telling you right now, that person paid about a hundred and some bucks for that. Now, this one, one of our bigger sales. I picked this up probably about a year ago, maybe a little bit less. Uh, it was underneath a table at a yard sale and it was the biggest buy probably flip we've had in a while. I picked up a whole box of Bibles for like 20 bucks. We gave all the Bibles away except for this one. It's an antique 1885 family holy Bible and it went for $275 free shipping and uh, I think it went to Arizona and that's just a really good flip. So, but there's also uh, antique Bibles that have metal clasps on the actual like part of the Bible that closes, look for those because they are actually worth a lot of money. And how you date Bibles is really weird. Just I had a lot of questions on this on eBay. I don't know all the answers. So I do a lot of Googling and everything. But these right here can be worth a ton of money. And then this, uh, I always pick these up. Doolit, hand-built Great Britain toasters. There's a four slice, a two slice. And they really work quite well. This one had the warmer on it right there. That's that little rack that you see. And they always sell for over 50 bucks. Uh, a lot of people though know what these are at the art sales and they know they spent 300 to 400 dollars on them when they were new. They do come in different colors too. I think they come in like blue and maybe yellow. I, I've only found the stainless steel ones. I've never found one that was a you know different color. But 90 bucks plus shipping and they always sell for me. I have none in stock. I know if I pick this up and it works, it's always gonna sell within two weeks. So right there, there's a couple what solds in the last couple of months. I want to pull out some of the big ones in case you're out there yard selling. I know yard selling is pretty much over for a majority of the country. It's getting cold outside, but you still have, you know, some estate sales will, will still be going. Estate auctions are always good to pick these places up. Uh, thrift stores, honestly, kind of tough where we are right now. We're not finding a lot in the thrift stores. We're going to try to go thrift in the next couple of days to see, you know, what we can find. But they've been pretty rough lately. And uh, just auctions have been really good. And like estate auctions, and I said, just regular estate sales. So I do appreciate everybody that watches. If you're not subscribed, if you would hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers before 2023. So hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate everybody that watches and much more to come on this channel.